Can you let Paula speak anyway? Paula, where do you sit with this? Well, I'm not sure I can speak to that. I think it's... It's quite astonishing, actually, to say that the monarchy isn't important to this country and isn't important to the people of this country. I think that's why Piers is so surprised at what you're saying, because as an immigrant, as one adopted um, into this country, there is no doubt in my mind that the Queen has played... Uh, and The Queen and the monarchy has played an incredibly important role in society and one that is reflected, I think, from childhood right up to. And we can see that not only from, sadly, the passing of the Queen, where I think 4.6 billion people around the world... No, they didn't. ...watched, they didn't. watched that ceremony. Fantasy. And this is the problem, is the monarchy I mean, relies it, on it, fantasy. It, it may be These a fantasy, fantasy, but that's what I understand. You're suggesting that more than half the, the world's say. population... The figures um, are fantasy. And so... Uh, I think it is surprising that you can sit here and at least at least well, acknowledge the I can acknowledge the, that the figures she, you're putting out. Uh, you believe this country? Acknowledge go the to impact that she's had. Sorry? Did you go to America? I go around the world. When were you last in America? I haven't been to the United States, but I'm not... Right, so you've but, never been to the, the it doesn't, place... Hang it on. doesn't matter you because no-one is arguing for a US you keep, system. You keep responding by saying it doesn't matter because you don't want to answer the question. But no-one is arguing for a US system. You haven't even heard the question yet. No-one is arguing for a US system. I haven't asked you the question yet. Here's my question. If you've never been to the United States, I've lived and worked there for the last 20 years, then you will have no comprehension of the extraordinary respect they have for the Queen, for King Charles now, for the monarchy. And it is an abiding respect that they have, and that's why they all want to come on the state visits and get the red carpet treatment but, but at the I, palace. And I think it's actually really important to our special relationship with the United States, the world's number one superpower. I have it. That the, that the royal have... family have been able to be this bridge, constant bridge, through all the political turmoil. Alex? Well, I'm just going to say that been the last direct experience that the Americans had of monarchy was George III, yeah, but... which, which didn't go particularly well. well it went so, well for them. So, so you say, it didn't go well for us. You say that the Queen was an exceptional monarch. I agree with you. Uh, I, I got on absolutely famously with the Queen. I, I like Prince Charles. I think he's a great guy. That's not my argument. I've got no King, animus. King Charles. King Charles. I have no animus, animus whatsoever. But yeah, but that's not, because, the Queen. that's not because I don't like Being him. Being a humble and obedient It's because servant. if you ask people the question, you're setting up, in the case of an independent Scotland, a new country, would you set it up with the hereditary principle or would you set it up on democratic Well, I think it's a really principles? good argument. And I actually don't agree that the hereditary principle that has been established by this monarchy in the last hundred years or so, certainly, I can look at, you know, from my lifetime and slightly beyond, I think it's been a power of positivity for the country. And I would the look at... The principle is a power of positivity. Well, I just think you had this family so at the top be more of our, Well, they don't have any executive power, right? right? Do so they? They, so interfere. You, you they, they don't have any executive power. They interfere. Right, okay. The monarch doesn't interfere. Right, OK, yes, let, let's well, put he that, doesn't, he doesn't. You think Charles will be a good king. He might, I do, well, yeah. he might well I do. be a good king. I think he's already let, shown that. Let's say... Let's say Andrew had been the elder son. Yeah. He'd be the good guy. Well, he's not. Yeah, well, OK, Piers, but, I mean, you know, it's the, so it's a lottery. Would he basically. have been any worse as a king and, than and Boris Johnson the, was as Prime Minister? Well, or but, Liz Truss? Oh, yes, yes, but the point... In other words, where's the proof... But Boris... But Boris... But here's the point. Where's the proof that an elected politician is, can do Bo any better? Yes, but Boris Johnson is no longer Prime Minister. Right. Liz Truss is no longer Prime Minister. But the greatest kind of, leader... Kind of stuck the greatest with leader monarch. of the last hundred years, I would say, was Queen Elizabeth. Well, that, of any kind. That is not a credible well, argument because it she, is a credible she argument. Was, she was she never was the longest she reigning. She was protected by. She was the most respected she in was, all the polls than was, anybody. She was not required to do or say anything of any particular uh, controversy. She was never subjected to an election. She was never suggested to uh, subject. She would to have public won an election. Scrutiny. Well, well, would she? I, I, well, I, 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 I think that's. Yes. I think that's uh, high. Uh, I think uh, that Charles uh, amongst the Republic... would be, He would be defeated heavily because the point is, in an election, he would have to sit here, be challenged by people like you. Mm. He would have to stand in a, in a studio and be challenged by but other candidates. Be, yeah, but you and he remarkably would be seem remarkably blinkered, Graham, to any potential positive of the monarchy. When to me, it's indisputable in the last hundred years, which is, the, the, let's say, the modern times of the monarchy, that they have been a force for good. But they haven't. Well, they have. what, what good? What good have they done? What they have done, they've propped up a, a rotten constitution. They have been a secretive institution. The single biggest they events have... in the world, outside of massive news tragedies and disasters and terror attacks, have been the big royal events. Look at the last year alone. The death of the Queen. 
and her funeral. So that's a really positive thing for... No, no, no. What's positive is the way that we then acknowledge yeah. these great moments in the royal family and we recognise how influential the they are around the world. The Jubilee last year, 14%, only 14% of the country wanted to celebrate the Jubilee uh, last year. In 2011, 79% of the population that's, said they were not interested. That is a completely untrue statistic. This but, is but absolutely... Also, this 14, is, only 14% wanted you, to celebrate. You yeah. give polling... 14% wanted to celebrate it. You gave polling in 2011, 79% were not interested. 2018, 66% no, were not well, interested. I, I'm, but, you know, the, I, I, the, the bottom I, I, line... I, I don't share the... I don't, I don't, I don't, share, share I don't the, believe those stats. I don't share the well, historicity of the fact. Well, so it's not true, then. It's, it's, not, it's, it's quite close to blatantly home. blatantly obvious. When it happened, more than 15% celebrated it. So it's obviously but not... But, Piers, there is close to home a rather successful example of a presidential system, and that's the Republic of Ireland. Mm. They've had a cracking series of presidents mm. by mm. any estimation. You know, Mary Robinson, Mary Michaelese, uh, President Higgins. I mean, have been first-class presidents yeah. in them. a presidential Good system. So, but, well, but Piers, your argument seems to rest on the... Her Majesty the Queen was an exceptional woman. I agree. I and don't, I actually I, think, I don't agree with I think King Charles is an you exceptional man. Well, well, time will tell, but, I'm, yeah. but it is, there is an argument. And the truth is, if you were still the <laughs> you SNP up, leader, as we've just seen with you with the Queen, you'd have been... Brown nosing away with the new king for your heart's content. No, Wouldn't think, you? I, We've just no, been seeing you doing I, it with I, the no, queen. I, well, Do you to, think to me, the watershed, the best the watershed was the death of the queen. Uh, I think it would have been ridiculous to, to argue. You've been shouted down. Down. I yeah. have been. I have. Do I think that he's the very best that we yes. have to have to offer? We will find out. What is it that you want? Do you want a referendum? Do you want a Brexit-style split? This society doesn't need that. No, the monarchy is loved in this country. Well, 